Bugs. How are you guys doing today? It is Deborah here from Body Garbage. And today we will be making donut bombs using our Ginny Bell bath bomb press. And unfortunately, if you look over here, I learned the hard way that this is this mold is a little bit flatter than the rest, so I need smaller um embeds but that's all right these will still be cute we're gonna embellish them um once they dry out and package them up just trying to get the rest of the moisture in the dry parts I know I was reading my comments and some of you have expressed that you miss me and I just want you guys to know that I miss you all too and I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be MIA on purpose. I just want to allocate my time um, responsibly so that I'm able to do everything that um, I have going on. So... I still won't be posting um, like I was every day, but I'm going to try to um, do a post at least um, twice a week. If not twice, then you know there all there's always once a week. I still haven't decided yet which day I want to post, but I might go back to my regular schedule um, of Wednesdays and Sundays at 10 a.m. Sorry for the noise, but we have to get our bath bomb out the mold. Also, there's still some construction going on, so if you hear any of that, and then um, Kobe is in the living room doing his usual, watching his cartoons. Right now, it just happens to be PJ Masks. If there is anyone that's new to this channel, welcome. Don't hesitate to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And make sure that you hit all when you hit the notification bell because YouTube has not been great with sending out notifications. So if you want to keep up to date with Body Garbage and what's going on with the channel and the business then you need to uh, make sure you hit that all button when you click on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on anything, any of the goings on with us over here. And I decided since it's been a while that I've made some bath bombs on camera that I would do some today using my new mold that I received from Teal All's house. Again, if you guys are interested in this manual press, it is very affordable. It's um, $99. You can find it on her Etsy or um, you can purchase it from off of the Jenny Bell um, Bath Bomb website. She's amazing, by the way, so I have no problem supporting a fellow um, crafter, especially the sweet ones. These donuts are actually um, strawberry jam, if I haven't said that already, and we're using um, Lake uh, Red 28 for our color. And these will be um, embellished later again. I'm not too sure if I'm going to do those, <laughs> do that on camera. I'm going to try to make it cute and keep it cute. Also, um, I made some lip kits. 
um, the videos. If you haven't seen it already, if I haven't posted it yet, <clears throat> but that will be coming um, with the lip oil that I made as well as the lip scrub. They're actually available now if you like to check them out, but I will be doing a demonstration just in case anybody is confused on what to do with this particular lip kit. It's not lipstick or anything like that, but it is meant to keep your lips soft and supple, or as I like to say, keep it kissable. Especially if you have um, large voluptuous lips like mine, you don't want to walk around with dry, ashy, cracked lips. That's not cute for anybody. Uh, this just fell apart. That is not cute for anybody at all. So just to make you guys aware of that. And I've seen some people out here with some dry lips. And I let me tell you, I talk a lot. So I have to keep my lips moisturized and hydrated and supple at all times. Because if I don't, ooh, it's not pretty. It's not pretty. It's like anybody that has like <clears throat> bad breath. Like, have you ever been around any of those people that like, I don't know if they do it, but they might have like halitosis or something. And they're constantly like talking in somebody's face or saying words with H, but they have to be dragged out very long. And it's just like, dude, pop a mint gum is like, what is it nowadays? 35 cent. Ugh. Or those with bad teeth. Um, I know sometimes people either don't have insurance or can't afford to go to the dentist or whatever have you, but yeah, I I, I cannot. certain people from certain countries their teeth are like <laughs> I'm sorry you guys but I just it just popped up into my head and I just ugh and mine aren't the whitest and they damn sure aren't the prettiest but I keep them clean I keep my mouth smelling great I make a note to brush the roof of my mouth my tongue my teeth floss mouthwash i even brush my teeth my cheeks because i cannot and i'm an avid gum chewer um not so much for um the smell of like mints or anything i just like chewing gum i like popping gum and all that goodness that's just a per personal preference but I do keep um, peppermints at all times. And plus, you never know. Sometimes you might eat something funky, has a lot of garlic, truffle oil, or whatever have you. So, <clears throat> even some meats. Um, cause if you're like me and you have all of your teeth, I literally, um, have, um, wisdom teeth in the back of my mouth. So sometimes, um, if I'm not careful, <clears throat> certain foods like meats, um, even some vegetables will get caught all the way back there. And if I don't pay attention to it, then it will smell horrible and, um, that's not cute and it's definitely not kissable so i always make sure to um that i have that cleaned off as well and floss back there um i don't have a problem with my wisdom teeth so i'm not getting them cut out so i just have extra teeth way in the back of my mouth and at the roof of my mouth and they've come 
in all the way. It just never bothered me. I know some people think that's strange um, for an adult to have um, wisdom teeth, but I have all four of mine. And if you're wondering why I'm sitting today and not um, standing like how I usually do when I make my bombs, um, if you didn't know or if I haven't said it before, I do suffer from sciatica. And basically, that's just a pinched nerve in my back. <clears throat> and when it gets irritated, um, I'm in severe pain. I can't sit for too long. I can't stand for too long. I can't walk for too long. can't lay down for too long. can't do anything too long. Or um, it will like totally jack me up. And my back already started hurting because I'm in here condensing some of my supplies um, so that's not too much in the way. Um, and because as you guys know, I soap from out of the kitchen. So I have stuff basically everywhere, but I keep the majority of it in the basement. Um, so I got another um, bucket just to put some more um, supplies in to have it out of the way. And that's what I'm doing now um, in the middle of this, organizing um, the things that I have um, recently bought and I really don't have room for in the large bucket. So I'm just trying to put everything away and make it look nice and neat and tidy. But I needed to make some more bath bombs, so I decided to do that um, as I was doing this. So it's like, that's halfway done, and I made some lavender bombs, and now I'm making these. I'll clean this up, and then finish organizing um, what I need to And I'll keep that little rinky-dink one for me <laughs> so that I can test it out. <clears throat> I always um, test out my products before I sell them or give them away. I just think that's best business practices. Oh, Because if you don't, then you won't know how your products work or how they're reacting to um, people or anything like that. A lot of times people don't for whatever reason leave feedback so you won't know unless um you use it for yourself i'm gonna do that with all of my products from soap to my lip products to any bath bombs or anything like that And if you're not doing that and you're selling your products, I think you should. That's just IMO. And I just broke this again. I think I need a little bit more liquid. gonna put a tad bit more um, of my oil in here let's see if that helps honey that was probably about a teaspoon there's a raspberry um raspberry jam this strawberry jam fragrance smells delectable it smells like um like a jolly rancher and a swedish fish with those gummy lifesavers like all the red ones and the red pack of um 
Starburst. Oh, like if they all got together, had an orgy, and produced one baby, that's how this smells. It's just awesome. Um, I got it from Crafter's Choice or Wholesale Supplies Plus. Um, I actually got it on sale, so I got the pound, and I'm so glad I did. Their um, products can be quite pricey, even though they say, oh, well, you know, you don't have to pay shipping. Um, in some ways, if the um, upside is for me to pay shipping and I don't have to pay $30 for lanthanol, then I do it. I'd rather pay the shipping. Why do these keep breaking? <laughs> so I'm gonna hit it with some more alcohol. Oil wasn't enough, so let's give our bath bomb dust a good spritz down. Sometimes these things happen. You make a bomb, you break a bomb. Hopefully this is good now. Got a few more to go. And I can stand now. It's only a little bit left, so I'll do this and then sit down and finish doing the rest of what I need to do today. That's all it took is a little bit more alcohol. And a lot less pressure. I find with this press and um through the guidance of Teal and those in her bath bomb making group, that the less, the least amount of pressure with this particular um, press, the better off your bombs will come out. There we go. These little donuts look like giant lifesavers. Hmm. I just got an idea. If you watch SpongeBob, you know that I watch it too much. Don't pay me any mind. So, this wraps up our bath bomb making video for today. Again, if you're new to this channel, please stick around by subscribing and hitting the notification bell and clicking all so that you don't miss out on any future videos. 
Also, stay tuned for the demo. You know, I always demo my um, bath bombs. And this came out pretty good. So nine from out of this mix. And I'm okay with that. So I just have to decorate them and package them. And that'll be that. So as always, guys, be well and stay blessed. Thank you so much for watching. And bye for now.